Hey there, this is Tara from Wild Bird Farm. I grow here in Zone 5 in Central Iowa. We are heading into the third week of September. This means I have just a couple of growing and harvesting weeks left before the frost takes most of my annuals. Today we'll walk around, do some harvesting, and put together bouquets for one of my retail shops. You'll see here I'm harvesting celosia, and this has been a real workhorse all season. Those very tall plumes um, toward the back of this bed are amaranth, um, but that first row is celosia or celosia, as I sometimes call it. I go back and forth. Um, I have yellows. I have pinks, the flamingo pink. And then I also have bright pinks and a purple. I have kind of a coral, lots of different options in the Celosia family. Moving over to the sunflower patch, I have some pro cut plums ready this time of year and just a few of the regular pro cut orange. I would have said before this year that sunflowers were fail proof and I would always have them, but this year proved different. I am not sure if it was something in the ground. I don't think it was. I'm not sure if it was leaf hoppers. I'm not sure if it was all the rain we had early in the season, but my sunflowers did not perform well. We had that July storm that knocked down a bunch of them that did look pretty good, um, and these later ones are just sort of drying from the ground up, which makes me think maybe leaf hoppers. Anyway, this is my favorite way to harvest sunflowers. Walk down the row and strip the leaves off of all of those that you're planning to harvest, and then come back through and um, snip them to the length that you need. Our last stop is the dahlia patch, and you can see that I'm having to use the organza bags to keep these blooms free from bug chews. But other than that, I've had a great dahlia year. I think I can contribute that to a lot of the early season rains. I planted these slightly mounded, um, so I think that prevented any sogginess or sitting in water. But I've had really consistent blooms um, probably since mid-July. Um, so been very happy with the dahlias this year. All right, I took my three buckets in the house to rest for about an hour before I brought everything back out to my back deck um, to make some bouquets. And I'll just walk you through here um, all what I'm using as I put together the first bouquet. So I'm going to start out these bouquets with a Cosmo green in the center to sort of anchor the bouquet. I'm going to use three-ish stems of celosia around um, that Cosmo green using a lot of the pink flamingo. There's a piece of yellow celosia and there I'm showing you some pink sedum. Really pretty and some nice bulk to add to your bouquet. I've got some pink cosmos left as well as pink zinnias that I'll use sort of interchangeably as some accent flowers. And then I am still picking some Dara and or Queen Anne's lace depending what looks good that week. And then I'm adding a few hydrangea blooms into this first bucket of bouquets. I wanna go for a softer pink and yellow palette on these. My snapdragons are pushing some new blooms after the summer heat um, they took a little break um, so i'm going to put a few of those in each of the bouquets and then i will use some yellow sunflowers and some lighter colored dahlias i have a few yellow dahlias as well as a few whites and a few pinks that i think are really going to round out uh, this first grouping of bouquets in a lighter color palette I'm always surprised that this time of year, people are still looking for the light pinks and whites and blushes, but they really are. These are still selling quite well. In my mind, it's time for jewel tones, but you have to do what your customers want. Um, so I'm doing a bucket of each today.
a quick snip to even up the stems. I use rubber bands to secure them together. And then I use craft paper. Um, I am using a 15 inch square later this summer that works pretty well that I fold up in half in a triangle shape and then just pull those corners up um, to sort of protect the blooms and give a nice finish on these bouquets. For the second grouping of bouquets, I am using the Pro Cut Plum Sunflowers as well as some darker Celosia and a few of those Amaranth that we saw earlier as well as just some darker Dahlias and then I have the, the Cranberry Double Click Cosmos that were really blooming. That's a later succession that I started and then in these I'm going to add a few sprigs of eucalyptus as well as some of the hyacinth bean seed pods that I think add that really pretty purple jewel tone. So again we're going to start with the Cosmo greens down the center and then just sort of build around that. Um, you'll notice I use mostly darker dahlias. I ran out of the reds and deep purples though so I switched and did one bouquet at the very end um, with some orange in there and I think that just added sort of a variable color tone also very pretty And here is a jewel tone bucket. I am pretty happy with how it turned out. And I'm sorry, I thought I got a video of the other bucket, but I did not. <laughs> so here they are side by side. I have eight bouquets I'm taking this week. Um, I generally take two times a week. So approximately 16 bouquets a week to this retail outlet. I don't know if you noticed the skies in my earlier video, but it was threatening a thunderstorm, rolling thunder really the whole time I was making bouquets. And it finally let loose and we got some much needed rain. So I paused a bit before I took these bouquets to the outlet and got there safe and dry. Let me know what you prefer. Are you a lighter color fan or do you prefer the jewel tones this time of year? Until next time.